Can I speak with you? Sir? Yes. Yes, sir. <coughs> I don't know. Why are you attending a church? Pardon? Why are you attending a church? In the UK. In the UK? Yeah. But I'm surprised I was seeing something. <laughs> we need to pray for your health. Amen. Because I think now the devil is tempering with your heart. Are you hearing me? Not, yeah, not of I know. Yes, I know you don't know. But we need, it, it's very soon. This, you're going to start experiencing this thing that I'm talking about. I'm talking about something that you don't know. And I want to ask you a question. Your wife, where is she? She's in the UK. She's in the UK? Yeah. Another thing... Another thing, you need to... I'm, I'm hearing the issue of... It's like this a spirit of rising and falling. That devil is trying to bring in the family. Yeah, that's true. Because according to me, you're supposed to be very rich now. That's true. Huh? That's true. I'm seeing money that was supposed to come to you. But there's, it's like there's a demarcation line that's that true. the enemy has drawn that when you reach here, you must bounce back. You are right. Huh? That's right. So, but Holy Spirit is telling me that I must tell you, this line will be rubbed away. Hallelujah. Glory. And hey, you say I must tell you that when you come back here, you're going to give a testimony. Hallelujah. Of millions. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Thank you, Jesus. Because according to me, there are so many things that you're trying to do. Huh? But yeah. it's like the, God has given you a mind of business always thinking what is it that i can do what is it that i can do yeah i was born i was born like that but how to start is very difficult that's why i'm here give glory to god glory thank you jesus so now holy spirit is saying i must tell you that you're going to have a way Glory of starting. Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm hearing that you've got a lot of things that you are thinking about. And it doesn't start now. Thank you, Jesus. It's a long time. That's but to put all these things to the ground is difficult. That's true. So I'll pray for you. I'm telling you, you're going to come back. You'll give us a testimony. Hallelujah. I will. God, that God has blessed me so much in a way that I don't even know what to do with my money. Glory. So, uh, but I, I'm hearing that you've got a heart of of supporting the gospel. That's true. Even the man of God said that. So. Huh? Even the man of God said so. But I was not there. It means I'm speaking what is coming from God. Yeah, that's God. So now, that's the reason why God will make these things to be quick. Hallelujah. So that you'll be you'll be a kingdom financer. That's true. Are you hearing me? So yes. I'll pray for you so that this thing must... But devil want to stop that by affecting your heart, as I said. He's a liar. So, but I believe whatever that is plenty, it won't happen. And money is coming to you. You are saying you are from UK, yes. but you are not born there. I was born in Zimbabwe.
Jesus, mighty name. I'll set you free today. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your face, sir. Sir, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received from the prophet of God today, whether it was true or not? Right, my name, my name is Pastor Mitch Tafumane. Nyandoro from USA, uh, from United Kingdom. I came here to Charis. It was a honor to see the man of God. And I was, it was such a blessing, the man of God talking to me. Whatever he has said, that's true. That's true. And you also got the opportunity to see the prophet. He prophesied you. Confirm the prophecy that he gave to you. Was it true or not? That was true. That was true. I've tried so many things in life. But at the moment I want to come to the point, it all goes down. And what she said about my wife is not feeling well. When I flew from, U from UK, I left her in the hospital. Because my daddy as well was having an operation. So I was in between, but for her, I said she's a woman of God. She is a powerful woman of God. So I had to rush to Zimbabwe, but the word of God say go to Charis. That's why I'm here. Mm -mm. And you spoke about seeing the man of God one on one, and I believe he's the reason that made you to come here. Eventually, you have been seeing him on YouTube. But today it was just a different day. You were just with him a few steps away from you. How was it? It was absolutely perfect for me. I was looking forward to see him. Since I saw on YouTube, then I visited one of your churches in the, in the UK. I saw a man of a humble man of God, Prophet Victor, he, he and the wife, the way they have embraced us. You know, you know, we have been as if you are seeing Jesus Himself, and we didn't go there once only. We went three times or four times, even if it's a distance. But you know, to God, I just give God the glory for the way you, He is using you. And my point is, those who are far away. There is no way distance you can say it's far away with God. You should come and experience what I am experiencing, what I have experienced today. We give glory to Jesus for your life. I believe that as the prophet of God has declared a word that you shall come back being a millionaire and it shall happen very soon. I believe that that word shall happen very faster because you are a kingdom finance and indeed you shall come back with a testimony in Jesus. Hallelujah. I was born to be a kingdom financer. And this word has come, is going to come to pass. I will come back with a testimony. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Stay with you. Thank you. You're a pastor? Yes, sir. But there's nothing good about you. Nothing good about you. The reason why I'm saying this, I'm, I'm looking at how much you have worked. But yeah. I'm not seeing anything. You're right. I help people. I'm all over the place helping others, but nothing is working for me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That this job that you are doing, yeah. <laughs> that's one of the reasons why Satan will press you down. Can you please clarify if you don't mind? I'm looking at the job that you're doing. Besides you preaching in the, in the church, I'm seeing what you're doing, trying to help so many people. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. It's like when people come to you, it's very much simple for you to help. Yeah. The others have built churches out of my And hands, others, but... they want to divide it. So, this heart that God has given you, what, what I can tell you is that don't stop. Don't stop helping these people because the minute when somebody comes to you and say, hey, 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 you say, I will help you. 
And that's what you're doing around you. But there's nothing. So let's pray for your ministry. I see. Because when you're coming, you're coming for direction. Direction, yeah. That's my top priority. That's that's that main reason of bringing it, finding a direction. To know the mind of God. <laughs> so now God is giving you his mind now. Amen. Don't don't stop praying the way you're praying. Yes. Because around you I'm seeing a lot of many people that will try to stand against you. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. And <sighs> that thing must must give you a strength of standing right. in the ministry. Right. Because many of them will try to press you down. Huh? Right. Don't allow that spirit. Okay. Because, as I'm saying, I'm, I'm seeing you working, doing everything that will get, praying. Even this church is not growing. Yeah. Huh? Yes. It's, it's like your church is standing in one place. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Sir. And you are praying non-stop. What I want God to do now, which is something that I'm crying for in my heart now. Right, sir. Is for you to see like nobody's business. Amen. And this thing is going to silence many of your enemies. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So I want when you return home, God to start giving, because now dreaming is your way. Amen. Huh? Amen. You know you dream. Yeah. A lot. Yes, sir. So I want God now to make it. You must not dream only when you're sleeping. You must dream when you're standing like this. I have been praying for this. That <laughs> part of ministry work you it's, should be able to see. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Amen. When I'm saying I want God to open your eyes. That's what I'm talking about because you've been crying for that. So God is going to do it. Amen. As I said, to silence your enemies. Amen. And where's your wife? She's at home in the United is, States. Is she the wife, first wife? Yes. You must pray, sir. You must pray for God to give your, your wife more understanding in the things of God. Yes. You understand me? Yes, please. Because sometimes like when things are going down, it becomes a problem for her. Yeah. You understand me? Okay. Sir. So we'll pray for you from here. You'll, when you're going to the U.S., it will even start inside the play. Amen. <laughs> you are speaking my heart. When you're sitting like this at the play, when you're seeing clouds down there, you'll be hearing something. Your way is open. In Jesus' mighty name. And this spirit of poverty. Huh? Yes. Because when I was trying to trace back from where you're coming from, I don't know if it's Nigeria. From Ghana. From Ghana. Yes, sir. I'm trying to trace where you're coming from. I saw people that are worshipping, I don't know. I'm seeing people that are worshipping things here. So now it's, it's like the same spirit that is trying to limit you. So, but from here, Amen. your life has changed. Amen. Jesus, mighty name. Come out! Your spirit of stagnation. Come out! In Jesus' name. Bring him. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. God is going to bless you, sir. You will forget all these things. Jesus name. You're free. Uh, whatever the gentleman told me this evening is very true. My name is Kofi Emisa. I'm coming from the United States. I'm, uh, whatever he said is true. Uh, my life has been very tough for me. I started ministry quite a long time ago. I've helped many people who have even started churches. And I'm still where I am. I can pray to God that the Lord himself would open the door for me. I came here with one thing on my heart, 
that the Lord would speak to me. And I believe the Lord has spoken to me this evening. By the grace of God, we were able to see Apostle J.B. Makananesa on one on one session. How was it? Yeah, speaking, uh, meeting the um, Apostle was a great encounter. I had been watching him since November and I've been addicted to Charis. Every morning I have to be sitting there since November. And uh, he spoke quite a lot concerning my life, concerning my home, concerning my wife. And then whatever he said was absolutely right. I wouldn't say he said it right. Everything was on point and I'm so grateful I came here. How are you feeling right now that today you got to hear a word from father to son? Um, it's spectacular and it's unique. Everything about this place is unique. And I'm so grateful. I'm going to come back again. I'm going to meet him in Dallas, meet him in New York, and then come back here again. I'm so grateful. I'm so uh, for those who don't know, how is it to meet the man of God? And as the man of God is about to embark on a journey to go to Dallas and all those places that you mentioned, what can you say to those who have never encountered one-on-one -on -one with him? Oh, well, um, uh, I would encourage all of them to do whatever they can, to go on online, whether YouTube, to check him out, Apostle Makananisa um, uh, Acharis. And then do, if you are in the United States, in New York or in Dallas or wherever within that vicinity or state, please try as much as possible to connect with him those four days. And I believe your life would never be the same. I have been transformed and I know I'm going home with whatever I came for. Because whatever I, I wrote down on paper and on my heart is whatever has been spoken here today. And I bless God for that. Before we could finish up, the man of God spoke a point where you said he read what was in your heart. He said that the moment you are inside the plane and the manifestation of the Holy Ghost will start manifesting when you are seeing the clouds down. Is it what was really in your heart? Yeah, I've always been saying this to people and to friends that look, you don't need praise and worship before the Spirit of God will speak to you. You, as a person of God, you should be able, when sitting, you should be able to even see and speak their mind. So I believe he spoke what on my heart that I want to be a walking instrument, be able to manifest the power of God. And I'm believing God that when I sit in the plane, because I sit, I said to myself that before I leave here, I want to see a manifestation, even in the plane. And then he said it. So I thank God for that. And I believe I'm going to be a walking testimony. I'm going to come back here again. We believe that the testimony you will be giving it to the man of God in Dallas in Jesus' name and indeed testimony is your function in Jesus' name. Thank you so much and I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Thank you, Sister. Amen. God bless you. So you never went to the, to the doctor? You never went to the doctor? Have I went to the doctor? Yes. No. We need to pray for your health. Are you hearing me? Yes. We need to pray for your health because it's like Satan wants to take you before time because of the job that you're doing. Let me put it this way. It's like you are a threat now. Yes. To the enemy. Yes. So now you just made things worse by coming here. Before I came, I got a stripe on my two nails just before I came. Yes. Never had before. It never had. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm talking about, that for you to come here, you know, <laughs> you have broken so many boundaries. Praise God. So, the devil will try to give you a disease to stop you now. Yes. Because when you're coming here, you're, you're speaking about the issue of the grace that my father is having. Absolutely. You're saying, I want to have the same thing. Absolutely. And I want to take it where I'm coming from. Absolutely. Exactly what I said. So now, the devil wants to stop you. In fact, for you to come, is a miracle. For you to come here. I don't want to lie to you. It was, it's, it's like, if God was not involved, you're not going to come here. 
Okay. So yeah. you're coming here has stopped so many plans of the enemy. Hallelujah. And I'm hearing that when you return home, you're not going to do the things the way you're doing them now. Yes. You're going to operate in a different way. I receive. <laughs> the only thing that you need is anointing. Yes. So which is something that we're going to, you know, we'll pray for you and the Holy Spirit is going to do, do it for you. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. And let's pray for your health because I'm hearing that if we don't pray for you, I'm hearing your kidneys. Mm. I'm hearing your kidneys that they will fail mm. if we don't pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. So that this, you'll start having high blood. Are you hearing me? Yes. And now, how are you going to pray for people when high blood is there? Yes. It will be very much difficult for you. Yes. So I'll pray for you to stop this plan of the enemy. Thank you. Lord. And now, the impartation that you've been crying for and the direction has come to you. I receive. Thank because you, Jesus. you th this is the only thing that brought you here. Yes, sir. And say, I'm crying for this. Yes, sir. And you're going to receive it I receive. now. Jesus, mighty name. Holy Spirit, anoint this man. Jesus, my name. Jesus, name. God is going to use his My name is Emmanuel J. McKenzie, I'm Apostle Emmanuel J. McKenzie from Miami, America. And concerning the prophecy that was confirmed, absolutely, uh, Apostle, when he saw us one on one, he declared to me that I came uh, because of the grace and anointings upon his life, and the man of God just confirmed every single thing. He did mention also, uh, Apostle. Uh, Macanese mentioned something about uh, not only my health but my uh, my wife's health, which I didn't realize I had a, such a health issue. But I know before I came, I saw two dark lines come on my uh, fingernails, and so uh, the man of God just confirmed that there is an attack on my body, which I did not realize that there was an attack on my body. So he mentioned about the kidneys. The kidneys. Uh, sometimes there is pain in back here but I didn't realize it was my kidney so I thank God for touching that and healing and delivering me and setting me free today and we also got the opportunity to see Apostle J.B. on a one-on-one -on -one session he would watch him on YouTube uh, fellowship with us on YouTube but today I believe it was just a different day that the Lord has made for you you were with him a few steps away from you how was the experience and what did he say to you was indescribable. It's one thing to see it on YouTube. The 
feel the anointing right now. I'm about to fall out. It's one thing to see it on YouTube. It's another thing to be here in person to experience the tangible presence of God and the accuracy uh, of the man of God that he's spoken to my life concerning my wife and, um, and also some things concerning economics. Uh, Apostle spoke right on the money, right on the money. And just like the uh, prophet just said, I really came here for one thing. I came for an impartation. I came for my eyes to be open, my ears to be open. I told neat nobody. I didn't tell him. I didn't even tell the guys that's at the guest house. But Apostle mentioned, and he touched my eyes and my ears, and the man of God just did the same thing. How are you feeling right now? Dizzy. <laughs> the anointing is very, very, very heavy on me right about now. And I am so grateful. That I, and I cried to God. I told God. I want to take this back home. And the man of God just spoke that, that when I get back, I be, won't be the same. I had my wife, my whole family was fasting and praying for me while I was here. And a couple of people from the congregation was fasting and praying. They committed to fast and pray for me. And I received. Hallelujah. Uh, the man of God is about to embark on a journey to USA. He's having a crusade in Dallas and also other places there. And I believe you are here. And many people are watching you. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? Those who don't know how it feels like to meet the man of God. I believe that you are in a right position right now to encourage them. What can you say to them? Especially pastors, servants of God. Listen, we're living in the last of the last days. So many pastors, we're, especially in America, we're excellent in the areas of teaching and preaching, but no power. God wants to increase power. The man of God's gonna be in Dallas. I heard he's gonna be in uh, New York also, if he's gonna be in New York. Matter of fact, I've already thought about bringing my son-in-law and my daughter because I'm raising them up to be able to take them to one, either Dallas or New York, probably New York, because New York is closer, for them to be able to receive impartation. So that's what I'm planning on doing. But I encourage every pastor, you need to sit up under this grace you need to sit under this anointing. What I love about Apostle also, he's not selfish. He's not uh, trying to hold the anointing and the grace for himself and for Cherish. He wants to release it. Pastors from all over the world comes here to receive impartation. So he's not a man that is selfish. He's not a man that is self-centered. This man have a kingdom mentality concerning building the body of Christ. So I solicit to all pastors, apostles and prophets, evangelists, come to these meetings in Dallas and come to these meetings in New York. You will not, trust me, you will not leave there ashamed. We give glory to Jesus for life. I believe that the Almighty God has done it for you. And as the man of God told you that right now you'll be starting to feel the manifestation of the Holy Ghost in your life. And you said you're feeling power right now. I believe that as the man of God will be there in Dallas and there in Jamaica, you shall be there to give him a testimony in Jesus' name. And I believe that God has done it for you in Jesus' name. Thank you.